So, how can you help your learners be more motivated? Identify their motivation. Ask them why they want to take the exam. What are their aims? What dreams do they want to bring to life with this help? Help them see that their dreams are theirs for the taking, but the work that they are doing is very much something that will help them come true. If they understand why they are doing this and what they are working towards, even the most boring tasks go over easier. You can ask them to work this out in small groups, put it on a poster and have this poster on a wall in your classroom to remind them what they are working towards. You can even ask them to do this as a project, sort of a visual dream board. Make sure you include meaningful interaction in the classes, even if it is just for 10 minutes during your exam classes. The learners know they need to work hard to achieve the result they desire, but that doesn't mean you can't chat to them or have them chat to each other about how they are doing. It's a good idea to start the exam class with two questions that they will discuss in pairs. A simple how are you and what have you done in terms of exam progress this week. This way they can have that more relaxed moment with their classmates, but it is still tied to the exam. Prompting them to think about their strengths and weaknesses is always a good idea, but especially in exam classes. Have them make a list and share it with their partners and then with the entire class. If they are too shy, they can write their weaknesses, strengths on pieces of paper. You can collect those and address the most common ones. Asking them how do you think this area can be developed can lead to really valuable results. It will hopefully teach them to analyze their skills and how to work on them. It is a good idea to refer to their weaknesses as areas for development and to finish on a positive note with their strength. Give them more autonomy. The power of learner autonomy should not be underestimated. Teenage learners love being treated like adults. However, it is the teacher's job to have multiple personalities. One second you're leveling with them and taking to them like they're equal, the next you're being a little stricter and letting them know there are certain expectations in the classroom. Teens are at a very strange time in their lives, when they still need your guidance and support but want to be treated like they don't. In this case, treating them like the children they might still be will not help motivate them. Giving them a little more freedom and helping them become autonomous, asking them to make sure they're working on their weaknesses, not putting too much pressure on them about homework but still asking about it, etc., certainly will. Praise them for a job well done. It is very important to give out praise, especially in an exam classroom. We should never compare ourselves to others, only to ourselves. Unfortunately, this rule seems not to work in an exam class, as there are standards they are comparing themselves to. You can remind them that they should look back and appreciate the progress they've made, even if there is still some way left to go to the score they desire. Give detailed feedback. This one might be difficult to achieve, as there might be too many people in your class or group, but teens thrive on detailed feedback. Think of a lesson where the class are doing practice tests and you're interviewing the learners one by one in the hall, for example, and giving them more detailed feedback about their areas for improvement. The same goes for writing. You might not be able to do this for all the writings they submit, but try to do this for at least two, one at the beginning and one closer to the end of the course. Don't forget to include the positives as well. Set high expectations, provide support and take a genuine interest in your learners. They do appreciate it when there is someone in their corner, someone who is rooting for them and someone who will not let them quit before they reach their aim. Motivating students is not easy, but it is certainly worth doing as it will pay off in the end. There is one more useful tip below this video. We will talk more about teachers' motivation and why it's important to remember to motivate yourself in the next video. See you then!